Hey guys, my name is Dani and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to attempt to start welding the Jaguar's aluminium panels together. So guys, in the last couple of days, I've spent hours and hours to try and weld together every single piece of off-cut aluminium that I've got to try and get better at aluminium welding and I've got to tell you guys it is hard it is so freaking difficult to weld aluminium especially this very thin gauge aluminium honestly I feel that the only time I'll be 100% ready to start welding this body will probably be after two or three years of experience welding aluminium so I've got to start somewhere I'll tell you what I've learned in the last couple of days number one is that preparation of your parts that needs to be welded together needs to be absolutely perfect they need to be super clean and it needs to be nice and steady for you to weld it I have now come to a point where I feel that I'm not too bad at doing a proper weld but I'm still struggling with doing tacks in the aluminium without making holes another thing that needs to happen is this panel and that panel for instance are not going to be overlapping they need to match up next to each other 100% so there's no meat for me to do a weld very very little they're just going to sit next to each other and I need to very very carefully start tacking everything together and hopefully I can do a proper weld on this line and hopefully if I spend my time and I'm very very careful I won't mess up these panels too badly and then I can start finishing it off and sanding it and polishing it and hopefully by the time I'm done these panels will all look like they are one now guys this is like I said rather scary and intimidating for me to do this whole welding thing so in this video I'm just gonna put the camera on a time lapse and I'm gonna start and very very carefully mark out where I need to cut these panels sand them down and finish them off so that they fit 100% nicely start tacking it together welding it and I'm gonna take my time and spend all the effort that it takes for me to do this right because I'm very very much a novice at this so I probably won't be talking too much and I'll just get it done and then you guys and myself are gonna see by the end of this video how these things came together so let's get cracking Alright guys, time for an update. I've now welded these two panels together and I'm very very happy with the results. 
I think I'd give myself a 7 out of 10 for welding and I got some good penetration these two parts are never coming apart again even though there's still some minor imperfections on the welds it is very very strong and sturdy and it is very very minor if I paint this panel with some filling primer these imperfections are going to disappear so I'm very happy with that I did get a little bit of warpage that I had to fix and finish and so on so it is a rather tedious process but the results are very very nice so now I've done these two panels the next one that I'm going to do now is this rear section over here and well that seems I'm going to cut off that seam over there and see if I can weld in that section there and if I can do that we would have made a lot of progress <laughs> Okay, there we go guys I have welded these three pieces together and it is looking very very good I think I think but I'm happy with the results obviously not the best welder in the world but I'm gonna stop making excuses because I think this is more than adequate the welds are nice and strong and there's nothing that just a little bit of filling primer won't fill up yet I'm not gonna sand it any further because I want to keep it nice and strong but guys I put these three pieces together and I'm very very happy with the results they ain't going nowhere I'm gonna take this thing off of the buck now in a second so that you can see what it looks like but it's nice and strong and um, I'm gonna be making that part over the weekend and then I can weld that and the other side together and um, do the bottom part and then I'll probably be finished with the welding of this part but apart from that it is looking very very good so guys that's gonna be it for this week uh, this is a long and tedious job I've learned a lot once again one of the big things that I've noticed was of what that I've learned is because I'm not good at welding a long continuous length I weld little one inch lengths at a time and I've learned with this weld that if I go over it after I've welded the first round then I smooth the welds out quite nicely and it makes it much easier for me to finish it off so these are the things that I learn as I go along and guys that's going to be it for this week next week I hope that I'll be able to finish off everything else and then we'll have the rear section done then we can move to the front Anyway guys, thanks for joining me once again. I'll see you guys next week. Cheers!